Welcome back to Pride Fit. Today I'm talking about aloe yoga. So I've had so many people say to me, you have to try this brand. Their clothes are amazing. They feel so great. I love how they fit. And right off the bat, I will say I agree. I really like the clothes from Aloe, but they are pricey. So we are gonna be going through which clothes are worth the cost and which clothes I would leave out of the cart. Right off the bat, we've got the Idol Performance tee in dark navy, and I have to say, I've got such cognitive dissonance about this t-shirt. It is such a good t-shirt. It fits perfectly. They do a really nice job with the stitching and the elastic around the biceps and along the bottom of the shirt that make it seem like, yes, it is actually a very, very good quality shirt. They've spent a lot of time in R&D. I can tell that it's going to do really well with sweat, and it's also gonna hold up over time, but it is $88 for a t-shirt. That is insane, that's too much. And to that, I would say, it's not that you shouldn't buy this shirt. Potentially, if you have the money to burn, you should. But I'm saying to Aloe, please make this kind of basic cheaper for everyone, please. Like, it is such a good shirt. $88 is ridiculous. Next up, we've got the Accolade Crew Neck. And I was really excited about this because I was just like looking for a little, you know, strawberry lemonade cute crew neck sweater that was gonna be nice and cozy. And I liked it. But there are two things that were bad about it. One, I didn't like the Aloe logo on it. It's not just like, you know, printed on there, it is some kind of like sticker that they put on there that won't come off. So I don't love that. And the other thing is that, you know, it's well made. It's like a thick, nice material, but it is too short. It is way, 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 way too short. When I lift my arms overhead, I have like four inches of belly showing and it's not a crop top. So that should not be happening. So that was at the size small. Maybe I could size up, but then I feel like the rest of the sweatshirt would be just like way too oversized. So I would say no to the crew neck. The Conqueror Revitalized pants were interesting. They're made out of a really, really soft material that I love, but it kind of reminds me of like a pajama pant. It's super lightweight. And somehow with the design of these pants, they made like one crucial error. And that error being that it has like a drop crotch. Why is the crotch so low? Like, hello? It really should be like three inches higher like this, you know? They kind of remind me of like a dance pant and I, hate that look of like saggy crotch. Who likes that? So this is a no for me. <laughs> I mean, I think that it's good quality and if you like that drop crotch, then fine, do it. But like, no, no, not, not for me. The Amplify Seamless Muscle Take, I thought was one of my favorite pieces in the order. I love the color of it, this Varsity Cardinal. I also love that there's like some texture to the tank top. It's not just one texture. It has some texture up here. It has some texture on the sides. It felt like a very, very well-crafted tank top. And it also just like hugged in the right places. In a size small, it felt like it was very, very true to size. And one of my favorite tank tops that I've ever tried on before. I think that this could be a staple, especially if you get these on sale and they're only like $54 rather than $68. I think that's like a really, really solid tank top option for athletics. I didn't love the Triumph muscle tank quite as much. It's made out of this blend jersey and it is unbelievably soft, but it's not necessarily something that I would want to work out in. It's kind of like almost see-through. It's so lightweight. So I do think that that part of it is really nice and the cut of it was just fine, but it wasn't quite as fitted as our last tank top. And I think that the material is just not quite as good. The Conquer Reform Crew Neck Long Sleeve, I was a big, big fan of. I think that it is the perfect weight material. It's it's also unbelievably soft. It hugs in all the right places. In terms of long sleeves, I think that this is maybe one of my favorite long sleeves that I've ever tried on before. Seeing as their performance tee was $88 and this long sleeve is only $68, I think that this is like a really good price point for the long sleeve. And I would say this is one of your must buy items in the Aloe shopping cart. The Idol Performance Tank, I didn't love quite as much as I liked the tee. Normally I'm a big tank guy, y'all know this, but for some reason, this didn't have quite as much of a taper at the bottom, so it felt a little loose at the bottom of the tank top. I didn't love that. I did love the color. I thought that was really fun. Uh, but for $78, that is um, 
a little too expensive for a tank top, so I would say a no to the idle tank. For the seven inch repetition shorts, I thought these were okay. I liked that I had like a matching set for the idle tank and the repetition shorts, so the color was good, but there was something about the shorts that didn't quite click for me. I think that they're a good quality. They're similar in quality and style to the 10,000 shorts, but something about them just wasn't quite right. It could be that, you know, they were a little bit of a longer inseam that I would usually like, um, but honestly, that has been fine. It just seemed like they weren't quite fitted enough around my body. So I didn't love these shorts. The five inch adapt running shorts, however, I actually found very passable. If you need a running short and you're already putting an order in for aloe, I would say absolutely add this one to your cart because there was nothing that was bad about them. I just didn't think there was anything special about them either. I liked that they didn't have a liner. I thought that they fit really nicely. They were lightweight. So I liked these more than the repetition shorts, but I still didn't love them as my primary short option. And lastly, we have the Conquer Reform shorts that really threw me for a loop. I didn't love them, mostly because there was that drop crotch and I didn't love seeing the drawstring on the outside. But most importantly, the material is like, I can't tell if it's like a cotton spandex blend or something like that. Something about it is off-putting to me because it feels like it'd be really heavy if you started to sweat at all in them, that they would just start like falling down my body. I honestly wasn't very impressed with any of the shorts that I tried on for aloe, but I really, really liked the shirts that I chose. So I guess that's what I'm learning. Maybe aloe is a little bit more of a shirt company and less of a shorts company right now. And that is it for our aloe clothing haul. I would say right off the bat, I really, really did enjoy the clothes from aloe. I think that they have such a good thing going with the production and the quality of their clothes. I think that they have really good fits and they make you feel confident going into your yoga or workout class. I love that. A couple of things that I definitely want to see and I forgive me if I sound like a broken record, but this is across a lot of athletic brands. I want them to make more bold choices. I'm so sick of just only having like pastels and black and white available. And I also would really love for them to work on their price point. It seems like their price point is just way, way, way too high to make these kind of fitness clothes accessible to people. And that sucks. It sucks when people are like, oh, the only way to fit in at my yoga class is to wear aloe clothes, but like, I really can't afford them and I'm gonna go into debt to buy them. Like, I, that just sucks. And I don't think that necessarily the quality of the clothes meant that it should be costing $88 for a t-shirt. I loved the t-shirt, $88. That's too much. And that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a comment below, like it, uh, and let me know what clothing brands you'd like me to review next time. See ya!